What's up nerds? I've got another video on factorizing polynomials for you. Today we are going to be using a process called difference of perfect squares. Now, this uh, process uses one of these um, different products that are fairly useful to be aware of when you're factorizing these sort of problems. The one down the bottom here is called the difference of two squares a squared minus b squared, the difference of two squares. Uh, it, it is a good idea to be familiar with each of these because it makes working out a number of these quite significantly simpler if you're aware of these different products. You, you can always work them out on the spot from the general form, but it, it'll speed your solving up quite a bit if you know these. So let me just get these out of the way. Okay, so the one we're going to be working with is the difference of perfect squares. And just to show to you that um, that this works, I'm going to expand it out using the distributive law. So first, outside, inside, last, gives us, well, a times a is a squared. a times negative b is minus ab. b times a is plus ab. And then b times negative b is minus b squared squared minus b squared. Okay, and you can see that these two middle terms cancel out and we're left with a squared minus b squared equals a squared minus b squared. This um, property can be very helpful if you notice at the start of your problem that you have terms that can be written as perfect squares. Now it might, might not seem like these are straight away, but we can rewrite them in a way that is, because we know that 9 is a square number, so we could write this as 3x squared, because uh, 3 times 3 will give us 9, and negative 16 we can do the same, we can write it as minus 4 squared. And now we have something that looks the same as this difference of perfect squares product I introduced earlier. Now this tells us that if we have something squared minus something else squared, we can make our two brackets with those terms, one of the brackets having the plus operator and one of them having the minus operator. So if we make our two brackets for our factorization, well our first term a squared is 3x and then we're going to have minus b squared so we're going to have a minus 4 and 3x plus 4 and it's really that simple and that's why I said it's useful to know these special products because if you can see one of them straight away you can pretty much go straight to the answer as always, we're going to check it. 3x minus 4, 3x plus 4, distributive law, 3x times 3x is 9x squared, 3x times positive 4 is plus 12x, 3x times negative 4 is minus 12x, and 4 times 4 with the negative gives us negative 16. And you'll see that just like they did over here, these middle terms cancel out and we get 9x squared minus 16. Hopefully you found that useful. 